If you're looking to build your team, make sure you head on over to CheapMaddenCoins.com for the cheapest prices, fast delivery, and 24-hour customer support. And make sure to use Cold Wolf for 10% off. Now, so far, man, I've shown you guys two plays out of the gun tight offset tight end from the Saints playbook that you can use. Pretty much the same concept, the same reads. This play is going to be no different. Like I said, you're going to keep coming back to these plays when you need them because they are money. They work very well. Don't let no one steer you the wrong way as far as practice mode goes and how it's in Arcader simulation mode. The concepts are, they stay true in the game no matter what mode you're in. Flood concepts or whatever levels concepts will always remain true. So do not let someone tell you. Now, blitzes, on the other hand, maybe because of the way AI reacts to the blitzes. Now, that's debatable. But pass plays and stuff like that, the concepts stay true. Now, we are in the gun tight offset tight end. Now, I did post two other videos with different route combinations and setups, whatever. So make sure you check that video out. Those two videos. It's the two previous videos before this one. Let's talk about this play right here. Now, the name of the play is going to be the Saints Drive Out. Now, I'm going to flip it because I'm on the left hash. I'm going to come to the right. Now, the idea behind what I'm showing you with these plays is to give your opponent a different look. All right. We don't want him to, to know that we're running the same concepts out of this formation. We want him to, to keep guessing. So we're going to go ahead and just pick a random cover two defense. So this play right here, I wanted to show you guys pretty much last is because it doesn't really require a lot of adjustments, but it requires the most adjustments. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my inside receiver, which is Thomas, and I'm going to motion him over just like that. The idea behind this is to give your opponent a different look to keep him off guard from your flood concept. Next thing we're going to do is because his out route is too shallow, I'm going to smart route him so he goes 10 yards. Now, run this play. I advise you to run this play on a first and 10. Do not run this play on a third and six. You can, but if you're gonna smart route, it's only gonna smart route to the first down marker. So if you only need six yards, it's only going to go six yards as far as your smart route. But if you start on first and 10 like this, he's gonna go 10 yards. So you see his red out route goes, you know, it gets bigger and that's what we want. We want separation. We don't want them to be too close together. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take X and put him on a drag, okay? Drag, put the wire, leave the wire out, motion him over, smart route him, put X on a drag, then do whatever you want with the B route. You can put him on a slant to throw your opponent off, throw the user off, or if you think it's going to be some sort of crazy mad defense or Mabel, you can put him like that. Do what you want with your running back. I'm going to block him for this video and then slide right because my reads are going to the right on this play. Okay, I'm going to read the drag and the Y route. So let's go ahead and run the play. And we're going to look for the drag or the Y route. If they play a hard flat, we're going to hit the Y route. If they don't, and since it's this, we're going to run that right there. Now, what's happening is right here is since there's really no one to the left, they're going to switch into man defense. That's OK. You're running drags. You got man beaters uh, over here. But if you are worried about it, OK, this is what you can do if you were worried. Set it up properly, right, with the with the Y route, motion them over, and then smart route them. And then what you want to do is you want to streak your B route and then put A on a flat like that, okay? And then take X and put them on an in route. Pass block the running back. So your setup would be like this. Now what this is doing is it's giving us a receiver on the left side, an eligible receiver to the left side. He's going to run up and in. That in route is going to force the zone play. If it's a drag, they don't force the zone play. If it's an in route, they force the zone play. So I'm going to read the flats right there. They say that they don't come to the flat. I'm going to go ahead and just hit my man's right there. So you see what's happening. It's no longer switching into man. Now, if you like the first setup, run it the first way. But it has to be a flood concept. So we're going to take the Y route. We're going to smart route him after we motion him over. Drag the X route. Pass block our running back just like that. Do what we want with the B route. I'm going to put him on an in route like this. And we're just going to have it looking like this. Run it right here. Nobody in the flat get him for a good five yards. This is chain moving offense. We, we're not looking for bombs or one play TDs. Let's go ahead and do cover three defense with this play so you guys can see it in action against other defenses so you can, you know, you'll know that it's it's a good play all around. Here we go, where are we at? Did I just pass it? I think I just passed it. Yeah, there it is. Saints drive out right there. 
concept let's just do cover three and it's going to stay true for all defenses the, co the concept is the same all, all the way around so we're just going to motion thomas over like i said we're going to give ourselves a different look and then we're going to smart route him make his out route go a little bit further x on a drag pass block our running back slide protect to the right and then do what we want with the b route whatever you want to do motion over here right there and you're going to get your five or six yards now you see those purples they bite down on the drag then they jump back so just give it time the the defense will expose itself to what it does and just possession catch on the sideline it's no big deal uh if they do play hard flats you have your y route very easy offenses man i'm telling you right now i'm just gonna put b on a street you can streak the b route if you want you can do that all that does is stretches the defense out a little bit more which is probably more beneficial to you as a player if you do that for me, I won't do that. I will use him to bait users. That's just me. That's how I do it personally. Uh, but we can, for this video, put him on a streak, X on a drag, S block our running back and then slide to the right. Let's see if they play hard flats this time. They don't, he's gonna be open and this is gonna be money. And we're gonna run the same concept. Once your opponent starts seeing that you're running this drag, he's gonna start playing hard flats. And let's go ahead and run a cover three hard flat because I don't know how long it's going to take for this uh, AI to do it on its on its own. So uh, let's go ahead and find the play. That where you at? Where you at? Oh, there it is, right there. Saints drive out. I'm gonna do cover three. Where you at? Cover three match. Cover three hard flat right there. Now, like I said, this is just chain moving offense. We're giving our opponent a different look, and that's all we're trying to do. We're just trying to get some yards, the yards that we can get. Same setups. Streak the B route and just like that is going to be our setup. That, this is our default setup. Now you can do the X route on an in route, uh, the B on a flat and stuff. As long as you have the flood concept to the right, a streak, the out route up top, at least 10 yards and a flat route. So if they play hard flats, as you're going to see right here, I want you to see what happens with the Y route. You see what I'm saying? So if they start biting down on the flat where you're throwing that drag, that's going to open up your out route. So let's go ahead and let me show you guys one more time so you guys can see. He's going to open it up and it's going to be clear, wide open for you guys to see. Usually the corners give it away. Uh, they drop down really quick or the linebackers, you see him like he's going over there right now. Now, why I like these instead of corner routes is because of the speed boost they get when they turn right. When they turn right, they get a speed boost. If you guys have seen any of my previous videos, you'll know that I love those routes because of the speed boost that they get. So remember, Bring our receiver over here, and then we're going to go ahead and smart route him, okay? Make him go further. Smart routing makes him go to the, the first down line, pretty much. So if you you can even run this if it's like, like if you get a penalty or they sack you, second and 13, you can run this and then just hope that they play hard flats, and that guy will actually go to the first down line so you could throw a first down play. So it's another thing that you can do. So remember, Drag the X route, pass block the running back, motion the inside receiver over, smart route him, and then put B on a streak if that's how you want to do it. It's a lot easier to run that way, I'm telling you guys right now. Uh, but right here, we're obviously running hard flats. I'm just trying to show you guys how it opens up right here against hard flats. So there it is, man. It's going to be the same thing. The two previous videos I've shown you guys is pretty much the same concept, but different looks, different receivers running those routes. And I want to say there's one more play I'm going to show you guys out of the tight offset tight end. This is my, this is the formation I go to to move the chain. So if I get, like if I go first and 10, if I don't run this play first, if I, I'm going to run the ball on first and 10. And if I only get like two or three yards, I'm going to come to this right here next. Okay. And then after that, I'll run uh, something from the uh, Trey White Flex or something like that. Uh, and just keep coming back and forth. I'm never going to just run this. And you also got run plays, man. You got screen plays. You got bench right here. You can actually run bench if you want uh, in this thing right here. But my recommendations to you, if you're going to run bench, something like this, what I would do is bring like the outside receiver in. Right. This is how I would run bench. And then what I'm going to do is streak the B route, put a smart route him then put X on a flat. This is how I'm going to run bench. This is, it's not even bench no more. You know what I'm saying? It's a flood concept. So here I am running a flood concept and then watch what happens with the A route. He goes over here and it's money. This is how I run routes in Madden 18. You'll never really see me run bench. Like it's rare that you'll see me run bench in any of my gameplays. So there it is, man. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And I will check you guys out on the next one. Peace.